Let's learn, ladies. More than love. That's what I told her. This is more than love. It's a whole lot more than just love. Will you buy me dinner? <laughs> no, Robert, I won't buy you dinner. Yeah, take me to Rafa's. Take me to Tinka Taco. I'm a cheap date. Yeah, it's more than love, baby. She just wouldn't believe me. Good morning, Double R Radio. Friday morning, TGIF 918. Part of the Manina. It is time for celebrity birthdays, but... um. I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and knock out celebrity birthdays, then we're going to talk a little bit. I want to talk! So let's go ahead and do celebrity birthdays, and we're going to talk a little bit. Here we go! Celebrity birthdays on this day, uh, July the 28th, those mil diecisiete. Well, let's see what celebrities are celebrating their birthday. Here we go! Um, I don't know who in the hell that is. I don't know who in the hell that is. Soldier Boy! is 27 years old, but he never was in the service. Figure that out. Because it's a soldier boy, and was never in the service. I'm just playing. Maybe he was. I don't know. Jacqueline Kennedy, the first lady, Jacqueline Kennedy, would have been celebrating her birthday today. Good morning, Chad. I'm going out to Maru Flores. Good morning. There we go. Good morning. Going out to my son, Robert Weavers Jr. Good morning, Miguel. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Who's going on? Uh, there we go. There we. I do not recognize none of these people here whatsoever. Uh, who's that? Uh, I don't know who that is either. I don't know who that is. I don't know none of these people whatsoever. So I'm going to leave celebrity birthdays alone now. That being said, good. Uh, that being said, good morning, Chad. I got to Mary Gomez as well. Good morning, Mary. Come in. Juan Igarra says, "Good morning." The Valley in the house. Diana Zavila. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Okay. Now let me get serious here for just a minute. I uh, gotta give a big shout out to one of my listeners, Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, who's joining me from Houston, Texas, who has been part of the Robert Rios Radio Familia. Wow, Cynthia, about three years, give or take, three and a half years. I put I. Regardless, Cynthia has been on board. And uh, I got a team, and Cynthia, each and every month, sin fallar, she doesn't miss it, makes donations to Robert Evers Radio, and she has just made another $50 donation to Robert Evers Radio. Cynthia Gonzalez, I, mean, I thank you so very much. I mean, this is the kind of person that joins me each and every morning. This is the kind of person, doesn't matter what event I'm having, she takes the drive from Houston, gets her hotel and everything, and supports my events. This is the person that makes donations, like I said, once a month, and even more so, is an awesome friend. I thank you so very much, Cynthia. I'm very blessed not only to have you as a friend, but also to be part of my radio station family. Thank you so very much, Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez. Thank you again. I'm getting teary-eyed, man. I'm very sentimental, man. Last time I cried like that was when I had a burrito from Taco Cabana. Man, I'm getting sentimental. Okay, that's enough of that crap. Now, let's see here. Good morning, shout out. Good to Primo. Rogelio Rivas. I mean, Rossi Stinger. Good morning, good morning. There we go. Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez says, you sound about right. Yep, that's about right, Cynthia. There we go. Now, let's see what's going on in this crazy, crazy world. Check this out. <laughs> crazy story. A local casino manager with a gambling addiction stole $28,000 from the casino. How does this work, man? Okay, you got people coming in, blowing their money on casinos, but your own casino manager has a gambling problem. And what does he do? He steals money to play the same casino where he manages. Duh! <laughs> hey, man! <laughs> that just doesn't make sense. I mean, hey, you know, what kind of background checks are they doing on these casinos? Hey, dude, uh... Do you like gambling? No. Are you sure you don't like gambling? No. Okay, you're hired. But if you're going to hire a guy, go, uh, you know, do you like gambling? Yes, I do. Do you like it a lot? Yes, I do. Are you going to steal money from us? Yes, I am. Well, I'm not going to hire you. That simple. There you go. But obviously, that's not going to happen. Good morning, shout out to Clara Zoris as well. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Anyways, uh, let's get to my question of the day. Here we go. Uh, let me see here, Wani. Uh, Wani is saying something here. There we go. Yes, indeed. Now, let's get to my question of the day. Question of the day. Brisket and egg tacos. Hell yes or hell no. Now, check this out. I've never, like I said, I've never even thought about having a brisket and egg taco till my daughter joined me on my morning show about six months ago and she brought me a brisket and egg taco from Bill Miller's. I thought it was very good. Very good. But let me tell you my problem with it. First off, a brisket and egg taco from Bill Miller's is like $2.79. There's a lot of restaurants here in San Antonio where you can have a full breakfast 
for two dollars. This is true. There's a lot of huevos ranchero specials. You get two eggs, beans, peppers. You get some salsita over it, two tortillas, a cup of coffee for like three bucks. There's a lot of places that have that. And Bill Miller's, you get one taco with eggy and brisket. One taco for two dollars and seventy nine cents. It's pretty much pick your poison, right? Pick your poison if you want to get that or not. I don't know, man. Like I said, I mean, I was blown away by it. I really like the brisket and egg taco. I think that Bill Miller's puts more meat in a brisket taco than they do in their poor boys. Those poor boys, man, they're real skimpy on their meat. They really are. Heck, man, my prom day told me the same thing. Robert, you're being skimpy on the meat. I said, hey, man, what the hell are you talking about? I'm not skimpy. Anyway, <laughs> at least I don't think so. Anyways, I tell you what. Also, tonight, 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 going on at Pretty Nice Saloon out there on Cincinnati and Sasamoto. My, my, my buddy, DJ Abel Martinez, is going to be DJing out there at the Pretty Nice Saloon. Go on by there, man. Drink a beer with him. I'm probably going to stop by and say hello as well. That's going to be happening tonight, tonight, tonight at the Pretty Nice Saloon here in San Antonio, Texas. DJ Abel Martinez is going to be on the one and two, man, entertaining the crowd all night long. Check it out. I'm going to stop by there as well. Uh, Pretty Nice Saloon. I don't have the exact address on here, but it's on the corner of Cincinnati, and Sasamora, right across Woodlawn Lake. Right, look for a lake and look for some ducks. Pretty nice saloon is right there, I promise you. So, if, I don't get the address, but if you can't find it, look for Woodlawn Lake and look for some ducks. Just stop and ask a duck, hey, 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 what the? What the pretty nice saloon that's saying? And you're going to go, okay, sounds like I'm choking, right? Anyway, DJ Abel Martinez tonight at the Pretty Nice Saloon. We'll see you there, okay? Tamina, of course, tonight, Jesse Chuy Gonzalez is going to be performing at the Martini Bar. Tonight, 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 Jesse Chuy Gonzalez at the Martini Bar. No cover charge all night long. Now, that being said, I've got three requests for the same song. i got to play it. Let's do it. Let's do something by war. We're going to groove on this Friday morning. Buenos dias, Double R Radio. Okay, we're off the air. Now we can talk. Now I can tell y'all a dirty joke. You want to hear a dirty joke? Let's do a dirty joke. The white horse fell in the mud. I know. <laughs>